Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to sideload apps on a Google TV device. The device I'm using is the Chromecast released in late 2020. This is the first and only official device running Google TV uh, operating system. Um, and because it is released as of right now today, Stadia is not officially supported or available on this Chromecast TV. I was able to sideload it and that's going to teach you how to do. Not only am I going to teach you how to sideload apps on a Google TV device, um, it can also teach you how to transfer files over, maybe like a video or pictures. Now in this case, the Chromecast that I'm using, I can't connect an external storage. I can't connect a USB stick or anything. So I'm going to teach you how to transfer it over the network. And it's super, super, super easy. But this video applies for people in the future when you have a Google TV device that you can connect to USB sticks to. Uh, this video will still be applicable to you. It's just you'll follow half the steps. It'll be much easier for you. So to get started, you'll need two apps, especially for transferring over the network, okay? So the one you'll need first off is a, some sort of file explorer app. I'm currently using File Commander, and to get it, it's really simple. You just go to apps and search for apps, okay? So you can get these apps officially through the Google Play Store and Google TV. So that's the first one I'm using, um, File Commander. You don't have to use this one, but you have to get some sort of file explorer app because when you transfer the files over, you'll need a method to search for it and then uh, install it manually. The next app I'm using is optional. It's only if you need to transfer over the network. So my Chromecast, for example, it has no USB port. I can't connect to an external USB storage. So I have to transfer the APK file I want to sideload over the network. And this app makes it super easy. There's no tech savvy knowledge involved. It's super simple. So the app is called Send Files to TV. Now this app you have here, Send Files to TV, you want to load it on your Google TV device and the other device you're sending the file from. So for example, it'll be on your cell phone or tablet because your cell phone or tablet in this example is where you're sending the APK file from and to your Google TV device. So now you're gonna go over to the device where you're sending files from. So your cell phone or tablet, for example. In this example, I'm gonna to go to my cell phone and I have the app called Send Files to TV loaded here as well. And I'm sending a file to Google TV. So I'm gonna hit send. And a key note about this is that make sure that your cell phone or tablet that you're using this uh, command from is on the same network as your Google TV device, okay? They have to be in the same uh, Wi-Fi network that I've noticed in my testing. So uh, in my example, I have the file in download folder because this is searching the folders of my cell phone right now. How you get the APK file onto your cell phone to send to your Google TV device is really up to you. I won't give too many recommendations in case you accidentally get a virus, but I personally use apkmirror.com. I found it to be really safe for the most part, but again, use it at your own discretion, okay? So do be careful. And here we have the file that I wanna send, com.google.stadia, so this is the APK file. So what I'm gonna do now is just simply tap it, and what it's doing is searching for devices on my internal network, okay? And here's the Chromecast I wanna send it to, so I'm just gonna tap that, and I got a notification which is hidden and that the transfer has now completed. Now that it's on the Google TV device, I can't install it just yet. I can't go to my file commander app and install it. Google security won't allow it. So you have to disable the security and enable developer mode. So to do that, you have to go to your system settings, then go down to system, then about, and you scroll down to Android TV OS build here at the very bottom, and you're gonna keep tapping it, and you're gonna see a countdown. And it's, it'll eventually say, you'll become a developer in three clicks, two clicks, one clicks, until it's done. In my case, I'm already in developer mode, as you can see the message. I don't need to do this again, but you'll have to do this the very first time. So now I need to allow my File Commander app the ability to load the app for me. So what I need to go to is back to settings, then apps, security and restrictions, and then unknown sources. And here it's basically saying, hey, you're gonna install apps of unknown sources and you're gonna allow File Commander to do that. So by default, it's not allowed. Now you have the ability to check allowed. This is only gonna be selectable when you're in developer mode. That's why you had to do that in the first place. So now you're gonna go back to your File Explorer app. Again, in my case, it's File Commander. And it's gonna download to your downloads folder. So you have to scroll down a bit there you see com.stadia. This is the app, I'm gonna select it. And 
and now you can simply install it and you're done. So that's pretty much it. That's how you sideload amps on Google TV. Uh, it's pretty simple. Of course, if you didn't have to use the network and you had, say, USB storage plugged in, you would just see it here. You could have skipped half the steps over the network, but in a nutshell, most of the steps are pretty much the same. So that's pretty much it for me. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Also in the video description is a review of the Google Chromecast 2020 review. And thanks for watching.